Things are about to go down in today's video. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you with a full on versus video. In the one corner, we have the tried, the true, the heavyweight champ, Alpha Lead Amplify. And in the other corner, we have the very talented, the young contender here, the Lazuli label, the scene 2.0. Ding, ding, ding. If you're into social media activewear brands, it can sometimes get overwhelming. There's a ton of brands to choose from and sometimes their leggings can appear very similar to one another. But don't get it twisted, more often than not, there's a ton of differences that makes each legging their own. So this is why we love doing these versus videos so we can narrow down which legging might be best for you. Over here, you can find my full battle slash versus playlist. Check that out if you're interested. And for both Lazuli label and Alphaly, I have a 10% discount code. Feel free to use Gata at checkout. Not only will you save 10%, but it does go towards helping out this channel, keeping these types of videos coming your way. With that being said, definitely hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing videos just like this. Before we get going, a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you in part by Zigu. Zigu is a really cute women's fashion brand. They specialize in adorable, lightweight cotton pieces. Lots of gorgeous linens, perfect for the upcoming summer months. So I have three unique sets to share with you. The first one I grabbed was this very simple two-piece black set. You have the cotton linen shorts, with pockets and a draw cord with a matching button up, both very lightweight. Again, this is cotton based, so it's perfect for wearing right out of the pool, wearing on the beach or the boardwalk. I also have a two piece set in light brown. This one comes with shorts and an oversized V-neck, perfect for tucking in for a really effortless, chic, classic look. And lastly, I actually stepped out of my comfort zone with this color. I grabbed this one in the color light pink. We have shorts, a cami top, and a long sleeve button up. What sold me on this was the long sleeve. I thought this would be so cute to play around with, really accessorize the rest of the pieces. For example, I love tying it around my waist. Keep in mind these are all 100% cotton, so there really is no stretch in them, but the fit is so perfect. It has a slightly relaxed oversized fit. If you're in need of some new summer fits, definitely give them a check. I'll have them linked down below, and feel free to use code Ashley30 at checkout to save 30% off of your entire order if you see something you like. Huge thank you to Zigu. Now let's get back at it. Now the overall vibes of both of these brands are fairly different. You have Alpha Lead on the one end, who's got that real rugged, bodybuilding, grungy aesthetic, and then you have Lazuli Label, a much newer brand, might I add. They have a much more neutral aesthetic, lots of toned down colors, and muted tones. I mean, just compare side by side their two Instagrams. Right there, you can see the big difference. Alpha Lead's a lot louder. Lazuli's more softer, more mellow. Now you're probably wondering, Ash, why these two leggings? Let me tell you why. The truth is they're both my go-to. <laughs> in fact, these are the two leggings I reach for the most in my closet. Let's go over some blatant similarities. Now here I have the Alphalete Amplify in the color Jade, the Lazuli V seam in the color Persian Blue. These are some of my favorite colors, but by all means, we're just talking about these leggings as a whole, not being color specific. First off, let's do the eyeball test, meaning what do you notice first? As you can see, they're both solid colors. The most action you're gonna see on the Amplify, other than the scrunch, is this very subtle contour that is almost undetectable, especially in this color legging. Sometimes it is detectable, sometimes it's not, but it blends right into the color of the legging. That side panel is about it. Whereas with the V seam, you have a little bit more going on. There's no contour mesh, but instead they added some moto ribbing that goes down the sides, wraps around the glutes and the front of your leg. So you will feel a little bit of pressure there. It does hold you in in certain places. We will get into the fit specifically in just a couple minutes. While we're on the talk of aesthetic, let's talk logos. So with Lazuli, you got a printed on logo on the left hip. It's a little bit shiny, almost a reflective logo. And Alphaly, right on the back of the band, is woven in seamlessly. Off the bat, you can see there's a higher quality logo on the Alphaly. It's time to talk overall material. Just holding them in my hands, Lazuli weighs a little bit more. Amplifies have 51% polyamide, 38% polyester, and 11% elastane. Lazuli, on the other hand, 
54% polyester, 36% nylon, and 10% spandex. Lazuli doesn't have that polyamide. There's actually a huge difference when touching and feeling and groping these. You can really feel that softness with Alphalete, that more powdery feel to the touch. Lazuli, while still being soft, has an ever so slight grit to it, ever so slightly. Staying on the topic of material, how do these leggings hold up when it comes to cellulite? Unfortunately, Amplify, it doesn't make the cut. <laughs> Not super cellulite friendly, especially when you compare it to Lazuli. Again, it's because of the ultra thin material. Lazuli being on the thicker side, it's obviously gonna conceal that a little bit better. However, I do wanna make mention, it is not 100% cellulite proof. I still get it, I still see it. And that's because I have it and it's completely normal, amen. I do feel like for performance sake, there's no denying that the Amplify is super thin. This legging is an extremely thin legging, very breathable. A Lazuli, not so much. We have a thicker, heavy duty legging, perfect for cooler weather. This also means it's much better in the squat proof department. A lot of Amplify being thin as it is, when you get into a very low squat, you can see your flesh underneath. Lazuli, I really don't have any issues with sheerness. The material's thick. You can heat up very fast though. Keep that in mind. I know the warmer weather is coming, which is why I gravitate towards the Amplify during the real hot summer months. Let's see which one has better stretch. Okay. Amplify's gotta win that one. Honestly, these are both super easy and flexible to move in, both of them. Even with the thicker material, they're still so stretchy and so comfy. However, do not get it twisted. The stretch in the band of the Lazuli V-seam beats out the Amplify, for sure. This band is so much more compressive than the Lazuli. We all know that. And if you don't, well now you know. Sometimes Amplify can be a little too compressive. Certain colors can really just grab you. And if there's a day where I'm feeling especially bloated, I'm really not gonna wanna wear the Amplify. That's when the Lazuli comes out to play. There's like no compression in the waistband. Do you prefer a lot of tummy control? Do you prefer less tummy control? If I were to wear one of these leggings for all day wear, I would have to go with Lazuli though because of the lack of compression around the waistband. I personally prefer that when I'm wearing it for a lengthy amount of time. The reason the Amplify waistband is more compressive, if you look up close, it is three tiered. It's tapered, which means it's cut a little bit differently. It's meant to emphasize the waist, give you more of an hourglass figure, and that it does. So whereas the Amplify has a three tiered tapered waistband, Lazuli is more squared off and a lot thicker. The band in general, ooh, that is just, it's like a towel around your waist. Now, if you know Alphalete, I know the waistband can vary a little bit from color to color, but check out that difference. These are both in a size small. Do you see how much more room there is in the Lazuli V-seam? Check that out. That's a good inch and a half, maybe even almost two inches. Compression in the legs, we already talked waistband, but what about the overall compression in the legs? I would give Amplify more of a low to moderate, and then more of a moderate for the Lazuli. They're very similar, they're more on the lower end of the spectrum, but I feel slightly more support in the body of the legging with the Lazuli. How does it fold around certain crevices? Mainly in the front, we're talking camel toe, in case you didn't know. The dreaded CT. We all know about it, we all get it, it's a thing. So with underwear, I always get a camel toe without underwear, so that's that. When I'm wearing underwear, which legging's best for camel toe? The truth is, is I will get slight camel toes in both of these leggings. I will, certain angles, certain poses, I squat down, I squat up, no. I stand up, and then all of a sudden it's there. It just plays peekaboo, right? But with that being said, compared to all the leggings out there that I've tried, these are not half bad, really, they're not. I've had way, way worse than these. And again, that's just on my body. Now, Amplify is known for their scrunch bum. This is the revolutionary scrunch legging right here. A lot of people think that the V-seam has a scrunch too, when in fact it does not. It's just a seam, <laughs> just a V-seam. And looking at it like this, it looks so tiny, that glute space, I mean, it's tiny. When I pulled it out of the package, it was like an inch. <laughs> if you're somebody who prefers having a painted on look, you want your glutes to look like somebody took a can of paint and just went to town and made some Picasso on your booty, girl, then you're gonna wanna check out the Amplify. I don't think I even need to go on about that. If you're somebody who wants more of a natural butt lifting effect, 
my V seam will help you out there. There's no internal scrunch. There's nothing about this that is helping you except for the seam placement. When I wear the V seam, it makes my booty look like a full on heart. Like I got a heart shaped booty when I wear these. It really just depends on whether you like a more natural look to your leggings or something a little more dramatic. Neither the seam nor the scrunch are uncomfortable to wear. So it's not like I'm feeling a floss when I'm wearing these leggings. Now with that being said, I've actually pulled straight up from the Alpha Elite scrunch and I've pulled up right at the V seam here. I always tell you guys, don't ever pull up from the scrunch. Pull anywhere else but the scrunch. That is woven in such a delicate way. As long as you don't pull from this scrunch, you should be just fine. When I pulled from the V seam, I felt and heard a bunch of seams just snap away. I think I saw a little extra string here, I pulled it off, no biggie. So if you're really concerned about the integrity of that area, obviously V seems a little more built for that, whereas the scrunch obviously is more delicate. I do have to say though, for ultimate glute aesthetic, I would give it to the Amplify. I think that's kind of a no brainer, you know? It just really separates those glutes entirely. These leggings are a Moses and my booty is the Red Sea. If I'm going to the grocery store but still wanna look hella cute after my workout, then this is what I'm going with. So we talked about the backside durability. Let's talk about the legging as a whole. What's the overall durability throughout the legging? These specific leggings in these colors are new to me. I just received these Persian blues like a month ago, just like the Amplify in this jade green. I've worn them pretty equally actually. When I'm down in the basement of my gym, there's no hip abductor machines, the cables are all upstairs, so I have a lot of plates to work with. Sometimes in between sets, I'll go and I'll just knock out some hip abductors while standing with a plate. With that being said, it'll rub a lot on my leggings. These leggings are starting to pill a bit. I feel like the delicate fibers in here, specifically maybe the polyamide, that softer material, is what's making it pill up a little bit. I haven't had any problems with the lazuli leggings, none whatsoever. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, they're looking as good as new, really. You will see sweat in both of these. There's no doubt about that. How fast they wick off the skin depends on the material and for that they are both very good. However, the actual material, how fast the material dries, all right? Which one's gonna dry faster? And that's gonna be Amplify, all right? It's the thinner, more breathable material. The lazuli will stay soggier longer. These come to almost a similar length. I will say the Amplify is so much easier to adjust. If it's a little long on you and you shimmy it up, you can really smooth it out and it will work. The Lazuli's not so forgiving because of the heavy material. That material will start to look wrinkly if it's bunched too much in a certain area. Overall sizing, these are both in a size small. I would still stick to my true size smalls in both of these. If I'm in between when it comes to Amplify, I'm sizing up because I couldn't get behind an even more compressive waistband if I wanted to. When it comes to Lazuli, size down. In fact, I really think I'm on the brim of sizing down to an XS. Even though I love it, it's comfortable and I wanna to stick to my true size small, I do see in certain areas some bunching, a little extra room, say around my kneecaps. The back of my knees get a little more roomy. So let's talk about actual size ranges. In terms of sizing options, Lazuli goes from an extra small to a large. Alpha League goes from a double XS to a double XL. So it's definitely more size inclusive. I think Amplify, there's like, what, 30 colors available right now? I know V seems more on the scale of six. Stock is also not very good with Lazuli at the moment. Still better than Honor Active. Let's talk price. Not bad under 50. Actually amazing. $50 or less for this type of legging, that's really good. $72 for the Alpha Lee Amplify. Now that's a leap. This legging's a little more involved. They are known for having heavier manufacturing costs, so that could go into this legging as a whole. I mean, you got the scrunch, you got the seamless fit. That alone costs more money. Both I think are worth it, especially if you use my 10% discount code. <laughs> This video is not sponsored, by the way. This is just me having fun, trying to give you guys some information. Now, I did want to cover shipping. Lazuli offers free shipping on orders over 115, whereas Alphaly offers free shipping $150 or more. It's a lot easier to get to 150 than 115 because these are more pricey. To order just one V seam legging, if you're in the US, that's where I'm based, it costs me about $18 to receive this legging. That's $18 in shipping. If I'm just grabbing one Amplify legging, again, they're from the US, so I live in the US, it's gonna be a lot less, around $8. 
All right, if you're somebody from the UK ordering Amplify, I'm sure it's gonna be more and vice versa. I think if you're in the UK ordering from a UK brand, it's going to be less money. Now I know what you're gonna ask in the comments because a lot of you have asked me in DMs. <laughs> which one do you like more? Would you ask a mother which child she loves more? If you ask mine, she's gonna say me. But any other mother in the world they wouldn't be able to choose. I love both of these leggings for different reasons. To have both of them a part of my gym life and wardrobe in general makes me genuinely happy and fulfilled. That's what fashion does for me, okay? And that's what it's supposed to do. Clothing is meant to make you feel good, girl, all right? Whatever does that for you, wear it. If I'm going to the gym to get down and dirty, just put up the hood, concentrate, come right home, it's gonna be the Amplify. If I'm going to the gym and I have a day ahead of me, I got a tasks and errands to run, annoying things like that, then I'm gonna wear my lazuli. The lazuli give me just enough curvature and glute aesthetic to look fly at the gym, but can still be comfortable enough for more athleisure fashion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, something I did not cover in this video, feel free to comment down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I will catch you in my next video.